I'm Karen Pescasolido. This is Ash Wednesday. Today our scripture is uh, the third chapter of Matthew, talking about John the Baptist, how he preached to repent of your sins and be baptized. He said that one greater than him would come after him and it would baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Of course, that was Jesus. And not long after that, Jesus comes to him and asks John to baptize him. And he does baptize Jesus. When Jesus comes out of the water, the Holy Spirit descends on him like a dove and the Father speaks in a voice, probably an audible voice that says, this is my son who I'm well pleased. So what struck me about the passage was the fact that Jesus didn't need to repent. He was the son of God. He didn't need to be baptized. He had the spirit with him all the time. So this to me is the beginning of Jesus' ministry and Jesus always led by example. So I think it's an example to us of how we begin our ministry. First, we have to have a repentant heart and then we're baptized to show our testimony, our outward sign of what we feel, uh, an outward sign of our faith in Jesus. And the third thing, which I think is overlooked a lot, is the infilling of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Without that, we don't have the power to do the will of God. We don't know what it is. We have to walk so closely with Him and be willing to just let the Spirit fill us and take over all those little crevices in us, all those places that we don't want to let go of so that we can be totally filled and complete and be able to do our ministry like Jesus did on earth. So that was his example for us. I pray today that the Spirit will just fill you and begin the ministry God has for you in this season.